everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading from the sign of Cancer, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Cancer. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. And while we're talking about the description there, you'll find my website, you'll find my Etsy shop where you can find my Oracle cards, which are limited edition, and my stickers, which are going to be on there tomorrow, my holographic stickers, okay, which are also going to be limited edition. Uh, my shirt store, different social media platforms I'm on, even Twitch and Patreon. We'll be on Twitch every Sunday, so make sure you follow. That's really going to help grow things. And Patreon for extra content. Um, all that's in the description down below. And if you like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here, Cancer. So we have the star. The Ten of Cups. The Page of Wands. Lovers. Hermit. Ace of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Page of Coins. Five of Cups. Queen of Coins. The Sun. The King of Coins. Number 11, the Maya. Number 36, the Gardener. Number 41, the Higher Self. Number 42, the Wounded. We have Revival. Capricorn. Libra. Virgo, Resilience in Aries, number 10, the Unicorn and the Maiden, Communication with Unicorn, Purification, Undercover Action, number 12, the Gossamer Princess, Communication, Relationship Work to be Done, number 36, Child of the Moon, Forgiveness, Transcending the Ego, Number 31, Beauty and the Beast, Unconditional Love. Number 42, Dragon's Pet, Communication Between Species, Animals, Pets, Magical Companions, Guardianship. Number 21, Crystal Magic, Creation, Dawn, The Beginning. Number 52, with Mystery. Number three, the king, man, authority, male sexual energy, things pertaining to the law, justice. Number 28, the water fairy, feelings and emotions. Number 50, birth, rebirth. Number 43, burden. Number 42, perception. Number 25, the butterfly, beauty. Number 2, the high priestess, discernment, prophecy, vision. Needs before wants. Nature of the beast. Raven's wand. Dreaming days. 39. Fever Moon with Creation. Number 44, which is an important number. Super Moon, Attraction. Number 16, Full Moon, Power. Number 1, Dark Moon, The Void. Number 8, Into Me, I See. Number 30, Shining Through. Number 19, Waking the Lion. Number 38, Endless Possibilities. Number 41, A Higher View. Number 45, Beyond the Ordinary. Number 33, which is an important number, Doors of Romance. Number 4, Happy Family. Number 9, Broken Heart. Number 30, which I think we've seen that number earlier, The Garden in the Gate. Number 1, once again, with the Sun. 
Number 37, Third Chakra, Archangel Camille. Number 2, with Journey. Number 13, The Swan Queen. Transformation, Intuition, Patience. Number 29, the Camille Knights are here. The Phoenix, Resurrection, Surrender to Change. Number 33, The Camel Boy, Small Steps, Asking for Help. Number 39, The Altar Priestess, Preparation, Prayer, Sacred Ritual. Number 2, once again, The High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action. Number 18, Merlin, Equilibrium, Alchemy, Perception, Magic. Number 32, Bronwyn. Sacrifice, support, letting go, balance. Number 28, Nemu. Opportunity, self-esteem, confidence, respect. Number 4, the chalice well, Mother Earth, flow, creative force, sanctuary. Number 16, Morgan Le Fay. Prophecy, intuition, magic, fate. Number 20, Guinevere, sexuality, feminine power, love, beauty, answers, love, finding, freedom, spirit guide, new beginnings, psychic abilities, reconciliation. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Cancer, look at your crazy reading. I ask you something, Cancer. Who... Do you <laughs> who do you know that has put a spell on you? Okay, and this is not really a bad spell, but it is a reconciliation spell between you and this person here. The altar priestess priestess. Okay. You have someone here that you're gonna be reconciling with in love. There's about to be communication happening, if not already. And what it feels like is that this person, it, they cast this spell on you, but they... There's also another person that was involved with it. Like, I'm not talking about sexually, I'm talking about in the spell. Alright, we have a lot of different zodiac signs. Also, another thing. Rebirth, revival, resurrection. It feels like someone is being rebirthed or resurrected. Okay. Now, that can be... It feels like Aries, or... We have Morgan the Fay here. Alright, we also have Merlin. So any one of those, or maybe all of those, but either way. Feels like you're going to be reconciling this person, having a new beginning with them. In love here. Feels like you're being guided back towards them anyways. It was something that was meant to happen anyway, so whatever, right? Uh, but this person here, psychic abilities. Answers. Maybe you've been asking for it anyways. That answers card. Maybe this is providing answers to you. Either way, the reason why I'm saying this is that you have a lot of magic here. Okay, you have a lot of spells. It feels like the feminine of the situation has connected with Morgan the Fae and Merlin to really pull you back in here. Okay? They connected with that magical realm. Alright. Swan Queen, Altar Priestess. That feels like them. Okay, asking for help in this connection to really bring about change and kind of fix things. I also see you traveling to them or with them. Like you getting out of the box and you like either traveling to this person, like to meet them or whatever, or traveling with them. Okay, either way, that door for love is now open. But yeah, look at this. It feels like they've really awoken into endless possibilities of their own sort of magic here. Okay? They've woken up the line. They've woken up a lot of parts of themselves. And you're really going to see more of that. Into me, I see. You see, you're going to be seeing that, and they're going to be seeing that of themselves as well. It's Cancer. They use this full moon to really attract you back in. Okay? Because like you are feeling that attraction towards them. Once again, Ravens want. They may be like kind of daydreaming of you here, dream, dreaming days. 
Let's high priestess once again. That feels like them doing this stuff here. Okay, water fair king. That can be you here. Mystery, rebirth, birth, rebirth, once again. Crystal magic, you see, once again, working with magic, there's something about communicating with a, a different species here as well. But we have beauty in the beast, and then we have nature of the beast. So that feels like both you and them. Like, one of them is, you know, child of the moon. That feels like them here. Okay, there's a relationship work to be done between you and this person. Alright, so, even, even though it feels like, you know... They did this. I don't know what your feelings are towards it, but it feels like in a way you kind of asked for it at one point. <laughs> um, but anyways, it was something that's supposed to happen anyways. Okay, so something that was planned for anyways, Cancer. Okay. So are you ready? It feels like you're feeling that attraction back towards them anyways, and either you are communicating with them or you're about to be communicating with them. Whichever one. So... That is all I have for you, and like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading, and if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.